Amplify Science, Populations and Resources Unit, Chapter 1, Lesson 1.3, Births and Deaths in Populations. We begin with the warm-up, where you get to meet the meerkats, and you're asked a couple questions about the meerkats. And then we move on to uh, birth and death token model. Uh, this is a two-screen step, so make sure you're addressing both screens, but you're going to receive some materials and you're going to follow the instructions on your screen uh, in order to get a good idea of what you're doing um, we're going to take a look at the projections for that activity so in our first projection this gives you an idea of what you're going to be doing the population circle will be a handout uh, the circles represent uh, plastic tokens that you will have and you'll be adding and removing tokens from the cup to the circle or from the circle to the cup to represent birth rates and death rates. And then you will be recording that in a table uh, and also graphing it on a line graph. And there are three missions uh, that each have a different purpose. One is uh, steady population, one is population increase, and one is population decrease. So you'll be repeating this three times with different scenarios. Uh, and then we will come back and watch uh, about a two-minute video in which they are doing something similar only with liquid levels and once you've done that we hop back to the third projection and there are some questions about birth rates and death rates and or I say birth numbers and death numbers and how they affect a population and how well does the video represent that uh, we come up with a couple key concepts Okay. In terms of a system can be stable even as things are being added or removed. As long as the adding and removing ends up being equal, it won't change. And also they relate it to changing, increasing, decreasing stability. Uh, back to the video using liquids. And in the final step of the lesson, uh, you're going to come back to how ecosystems clean Earth's water. They're going to pose two questions to you. Uh, it's recommended you read the questions, you head into the article, and you annotate so you can retrieve responses to the questions, come back, type them in, hand it in, and you've completed the lesson.